family, what's going on? Can y'all hear me now? Is there any... Can you hear me now? Okay, now you can hear me? Okay, okay. Yay! <laughs> Got it again. <laughs> hey, everybody. I didn't... Thank y'all for somebody saying something or I wouldn't have had a clue. Hi, tight, 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 tight. So you didn't you didn't get to hear my shirt talk. My shirt talk. See it goes. Hi, how are you doing? Hi. <laughs> oh hey everybody on the hearts. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hey everybody. Thank you for letting me, who, all the people let me know you couldn't hear me, thank you, because I had no idea. I'm so sorry. So, <laughs> I'm just so. <laughs> hey, Mama. I hope everyone's had an awesome day today. I hope you're all, you know, happy. And if you're not, maybe I made you laugh, so. <laughs> I always say if I make one person laugh a day, then that's a good day for me, so. Hey, Miss Janice. Hey, Sherry. Hey, Amanda. Josephine. Hey to everybody if I haven't said your name, because nobody's coming up. So, if y'all have any questions, I thought you could ask questions if you want questions or... Thank you so much. I love him too. John got him. Well, he got him, but I picked him out. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. I try to be. I try. I try. <laughs> Is it still frozen? Is it still frozen, Mama? Um, John, you got the shirt at Walmart, right? He's not talking. Hold on one minute. <laughs> hey, John. Since you didn't answer me, I'll come out here. I'm live. So, uh, anyway, my shirt that you got me. See, you know? Didn't you get it at Walmart? Yeah, what? They were asking me where you got it. Walmart. Oh, and here, look, I know I showed pictures, but it is really, like, really pretty. And it's so awesome. I'm just so blessed. Because we've been wanting one for a long time, so we got one. Oh, oh, Sam, you in a way? Say hi to my friend. Say hi to my friend. Hi. What are you eating? Popcorn. Popcorn? Yeah. That's mine. I'm going to take it away. I'm going to take it away. Should we go see? Anthony real quick. I think we should, you know, because he's doing the same thing he usually does. All right, all right. Hi, my darling son. Hey. Where are you at? Oh, there. Can you say hey to everybody? Hey. What's so? this voice? Really? <clears throat> Aunt, you got to help me here, bud. Uh, what? What's what? How does it get in your face? <laughs> um, Cover the mustache because I don't want people yeah, to Yeah, look at it, everybody because it's going to be gone. No, it's not. It's going, yes, it is. No, it's not. Oh, it's yes, not going to be is. gone forever. No, when you turn 18, you can do what you want. I'm 18 inside my head. You're 18 inside your head. I'm sure you are. So, yeah. Okay, now I go back in the office slash 
sitting room slash John's computer room, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, okay, let me set her up. I am so bad luck with the camera thing, I apologize, but I had to get, he's got the most beautiful face. <laughs> So, yeah, what are y'all doing? What's up with y'all today? Anything happening good with y'all? Thank you so much. I appreciate that. This, this was um, Anthony when he, got bab he was baptized uh, in New York with John's family. And um, I wear this until he's, and I'll get to when he's 18, but it's my land. <laughs> and these, we were just in a store, and I mean, I know, I don't ever buy clothes for myself. I, I just, just don't. I mean, I still have stuff since I was 13, <laughs> honestly. You know, and no matter what people think about my family, that's them, and I'm me, and I ain't got, I'm not rich or nothing like that, so, um, but I ran in, and uh, that shirt that I show you says with the band. Um, I saw this when we were in there, and I was just like, oh, and then you know, it was $3. How can you beat that? You know, because they're, you know, I thought they were cute. So thank y'all. <laughs> thank y'all. So, yeah. Oh, and of course, Sharon Lamon, she made this bracelet, um, and I always tell you, but this is the one, like, um, my dad gave me, so that's why I wear that one. I have my other one that said, breathe on it, and the breathe came off of it, and so I have to ask Mama Sharon if she can fix it for me. <laughs> But, Ma, Becky, it's the thing. is clothes from back then or what's in style now. It's crazy. But history always repeats itself. Yeah, so. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Janice. I'll think you don't. I just put it up in the hat. It's like half ponytail. I don't know what it is. Just Thank you. You know, the reason I had to stop doing that, because it's summertime, and uh, the kids are, you know, been out of school, and so they sleep, like, they, you know, watch TV and sleep in the living room, because the older girls are gone, so upstairs is, you know, so I used, to, I was doing that at night, because they'll be upstairs asleep, <laughs> but once they're back up, I will, I'll start cooking again. <laughs> Hey everybody, hey. And, and please, you know, um, this will be on the, when I get done with this, it'll be on YouTube. I'm on, t it'll be, I'll take it off Facebook, put it on YouTube. But you can click on it from Facebook. And please subscribe and like. And then there's a little bell. And if you hit that bell, um, it'll let you know whenever I post anything. It'll let you know, so you won't miss nothing. See, you don't want to miss me, right? <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you, everybody. It's hot. It, it's hot. And, um, hot. No breeze. You know, I love filming outside. I love sitting on my back or front porch time of day, you know. And I can't do that because I would sweat the whole time and look like, you know, I was crying for my mascara. We don't we don't want to look ugly, you know. <laughs> I love you too. Thank you. That's true, mama. That's true. Name's John, but it's true. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. Thank you, Trudy. I really appreciate that. You know, I 
Maria, there's a lot of times I've looked pretty rough. Let me tell you. <laughs> um, but you know the thing is, as I became a young mom, and um, you know, so I went from going to school being a kid to being a mom because I had Lexi at seventeen. Um, just to let people know out there, you can still make it, you know, you don't have to quit on your life, you know, for, um, I don't call it anything but a surprise, because a surprise is something you didn't know you wanted until you got it, so, um, I had my babies young, and I was busy being a mom, and, um, I had always dreamed about being in the music business, I didn't want to be on the stage. I didn't want to be famous like that or anything. But I just didn't know how. And, um, so I kept, you know, I always had that in the back of my head. So, anyway, um, so Sam's born, you know, and she's the last. And, um, it was right after she was born and I would always be up late at night because I don't sleep that much. And literally, it's like the first time that I, I, God puts a line in my head, and I write it down, and then from that, ooh, that light bulb just, I don't know, you, yeah. anyway, um, the first full song I wrote was Daddy's Song, and, um, and I kept thinking, you know, I had to learn how to do structure, and I had to learn how to do um, the chorus and all that kind of stuff, the bridge and all that kind of stuff, you know, because I never written. But I truly believe God had me wait to this point in my life so I would have things to write about. I've lived a life. And so now what I write is from my heart. I just thank y'all so much. Um, and so this is just kind of like right timing, and I always give it to God, and, I, and He's the one that gives it to me. So, um, thank y'all so much. And like I said, you know, if you ever want to hear like some of my demos, they're on Reverb Nation. Um, just type in my name. If you want to see funny stories and see interviews or things like this, maybe you miss one. Everything's on YouTube. So I just love y'all, and just you know. I wouldn't be where I am right now if it wasn't for y'all. And I'm nobody. I'm just sad. But that's enough. And I, I'm i grateful. And I thank everyone y'all so much. You have no idea. Because without y'all, it wouldn't matter. You know, it wouldn't matter. And y'all all matter to me. You know, and so the first time in my life, I heard my daddy say he was proud of me as a writer. And I heard my mother tell me that I was amazing with words. And that was just in within the past month. And I, that's all, the validation, I'm sorry, we're going horse is part of what I deal with. Um, but the validation from my mom and my father Daddy, my father, it sounds weird, his daddy. Everybody always said, you know, your mom and dad must be proud, your mom and dad must be proud, your mom, you know, I'm just like, I hope so, I hope so, <laughs> I hope so, but it was like the first time they said it, you know, and not nothing bad or anything, it's just, it was always kind of assumed, you know, but to hear it is you know, and then for the guys to love the song enough to want to put it on the album too. So, like I said, just because it's on the album doesn't mean it'll be a single. But for them just to love it enough to put it on the album is beyond me. And I know that it's of God. And I know he did this because that song wouldn't have been written if it wasn't for Tommy, my mentor, who passed away. So... Everything happens for a reason, and God is so good. I mean, John and I and my family have been through Hades and back for a few years, and, you know, God does test us, but he always says he'll never give us more than we can handle, and I can honestly tell you that. 
there was a borderline, but no, you know, he was right. And we got through it, and now I'm writing, and this is happening, and it's like, y'all had the biggest part of it, because y'all are the ones that listen and read, and, and help, you know, talk about it, and say things, and that's why it means so much to me, so thank y'all so much. And I mean, say a flap, I just flap. I just want y'all to know that, you know, y'all mean so much to me, and y'all are one of the biggest reasons, you know, that I still do what I keep doing, because just like when I played sports, every athlete needs a coach, you know, and, and when you make that three-pointer at the bat buzzer and everybody's cheering, you know, because you work so hard, it's the validation of doing good. And for that, I mean, it just, it's the first time in my life I actually thought, you know what, maybe I am, you know, good at this. I, I mean, there were times like, ask Mama Becky how many times I questioned myself. How many times I said, I don't know if this is what I'm supposed to do. But see, the thing is, God didn't let me stop. <laughs> he kept giving me songs to write. So, that was my answer. <laughs> so, like I said, I'll keep going as long as God keeps giving me, so. I'm sorry. This has just been such, you know, a crazy, amazing emotional time, so. But I love y'all so much. I appreciate, appreciate. Yeah, you know that's how we say it, right? Like John with radiator. It's radiator. Anyway, but so yeah, that yeah. I was watching um, this girl, this uh, channel that I watched on YouTube and she's this real sweet girl and she does like aquariums and tell stories and things like bit, bit like saltwater fish and then she also has like uh, anyway I watched her for like a year or so now and just found out she has like all these diseases and that's why she didn't post a lot and I just felt like you know I go through a lot and I don't want you to ever think I don't care if I don't post up one week or if I don't do as much or, or whatever. Because I have a lot of people saying, are you okay? I haven't heard from you. You know, so it's just, you know, I give it all to God. So that's what I do. I give it all to God. So. Thank you all for coming in. Thank you. Hey. <laughs> oh, thank you, Roxanne. Uh, that means a lot to me. Like, uh, everything is for him. I'm here because of him, you know, and it hurts my heart to see what's going on but it also you know if you know the good book you know how the ending goes so um it it's one of those times just like people keep praying for the end to come and pray for them to come and and that's selfish you know it's like the longer time we have the more souls we you know we could talk to and you know maybe they'll have a chance you know i just i love everybody you know, I don't judge anybody, and if you have different beliefs, that's okay. You know, God gave us all free will, you know. But, you know, I have my, you know, relationship with God. It's not a religion. Man made that, and I won't go, I'm not going deep into that because I, just too many people... What's, what's, what's he not talking about? Religion, politics, and family, or money. Oh, there you go. Religion, politics, and money. 
so we'll leave that alone. Um, but that's just the way I feel, and everybody really needs to be loving on their families and understand this world. There is no man going to save us. We're the last generation. You know, the only one that's going to save us now is God. And tight, 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 tight. And I'll preach it and say it. As long I don't push it on nobody, but if I mask it until my last breath, so there you go. <laughs> I thank y'all so much, and y'all, like I said, yeah, like y'all are the reason why I even do this. I mean. Part of the thing that I did with the I tell you about Kiari, for some reason it makes like um like your like your throat and your vocal cords it'll squeeze them sometimes so it makes me hoarse and um, so that's why I sound like this so I'm sorry it's just part of what I deal with so <gasps> I heard Emma. I guess the Emma, she be mad at me. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, JJ! Hold on. Give me, JJ. Give me. Give me. Go, go, go that way. Come here. Come here, baby. Oh, JJ. Say hi. Say hi. Come here. I said, I told y'all. I told y'all. Just say hi. Hello. Goodbye. Now just say hi. Really? It's me selfies you take. Just yeah, real quick. Can you say hi oh, real quick? Okay, I can't tell you. Don't be posted. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh, stop it. Let me talk to me. See? Now you want to go and talk to me? <sighs> Just all by myself. <laughs> I want to be. <laughs> for you yeah. thank you he is my baby he is he's a brag dolls that's what breed he is and he's they're like the largest uh breed of domestic cat but they act like a dog i mean literally you call him by his name um he talks to you um you know he comes when you call him <laughs> and they have like rabbit fur feeling fur. It really feels like a rabbit. And they're known for their really blue eyes. As long as they have really blue eyes, you know you got a rag doll. So, but they're really expensive. And I wanted one for like five years. And I was just so blessed because I had just by chance called this woman, and she was like, well, I don't, but I know a woman who used to breed and try her. So I called her, and she's like, you know, I have one, and we got JJ, um, or his name was Jonathan, but he, he liked JJ better. <laughs> uh, and we adopted him, and I was just so, so grateful. She gave us his his dish and, and uh, his food and his crate and everything. She just wanted to have a good home. And so every animal we had, we rescued. So, but to rescue a raggle, that was really rare. So I'm really grateful for my fur baby, JJ. So he's, he's mommy's baby. Wherever I'm, he's always around wherever I'm at, so. I 
I just keep talking and flapping. Anyway, I guess there's a lot of people on, or nobody really has anything to say. Hey, I'm just sitting here. I mean, if, if no one's gonna come on, I mean, I, I can try another night. <laughs> All right, sorry, sorry, it's hey, sweetie. Hey, mama. Um, so yeah, uh, my favorite dog like in the whole world is like a German Shepherd and I and, and a Shih Tzu and um I remember we had this dog named Bally which is funny because you know Bally Sally but they already name them and in Shih and dog uh German imported dogs they have this sport called Schutzen and there's Schutzen 1, 2, and 3 you probably don't give a crap about this but I'm telling you anyway <laughs> So, um, they have, you know, it's got like a tracking test, uh, you have, you know, defense, all these different things they have to do. And they're also, um, hip certified and it goes back to generations hip certification. Uh, so there's no hip dysplasia. So, um, anyway, I used to raise them too. Uh, but the best dogs in the whole world, and I tell a story at Molly, the little Shizu, because see, she, that was my baby growing up, and she slept with me every single night, and, uh, that, and it was also Daddy's baby, when he was home, she would go right around the circle, and, and everything else, but, um, it's crazy, you know, and I had my baby, Jake, uh, my shepherd, and, um, and we lost him too so you know it's been crazy and you can't replace them and i hadn't even been ready until now recently to get another one and that was like 10 years ago <laughs> so, <laughs> why am i talking about this let's go let's say something somebody i mean really Mom and Daddy have a, have a little shizu now. Her name is Sadie. And we babysit Sadie when they go out of town. <laughs> and Sadie is, um, my mother blames my father because he picked her out. Um, but she is crazy. Yeah. But she's good. I mean, crazy. Crazy. And Mom blames him. Daddy wanted him. Daddy wanted, I mean, her, whatever. Yeah, she blames him. He wanted the one, yeah, oh yeah. So yeah, no, I mean, we, cause dad and had the kennel. Uh, mom, they, they raised uh, Rottweilers and Shepherds and I think, Do yeah, the Dobies for, Dobermans for a while. And, um, and then for what, I don't know, I wasn't really involved in that, I don't know really I was really young um but I know they donated it to the SPCA and they used it for animal shelter for a really long time but I heard it's something else now so I don't know I don't know <laughs> yeah they did especially Sammy Sammy's a ham anyway and once she warms up she just you know so yeah she and she's always been that way so, yeah, Michelle Maine Coons and rag dolls are like right neck and neck as far as like the largest breed. Um, but yeah, it's about the same thing. Just they're different. Yeah, they're they're just as big. Yeah, I'm doing good, Marion. Thank you. Yes. Hey, Jenna. Hey, Sandra. Hey, Wanda. I'm tired, y'all. <clears throat> and my voice, I don't know what does this. Hi, sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> I gotta show you my shirt again. <laughs> I still get a kick out. 
It's supposed, I mean, it's like long. I mean, it's like really long, but it's like, yeah. Snacks, I got me a little pocket in the front. <laughs> what kind, Marion? I, I don't know. So, what kind of pups? Hey, Shirley. Hey, Travis. Hey, Jonathan. What kind of pups? I don't know. <laughs> John trying and they're saying. <laughs> oh Lord, nobody's talking again. This is rare for Facebook. Facebook usually I'm pretty, you know, talkative with. But then again, you know, people have lives I understand. And it is. Yeah. <laughs> well, if nobody's going to say anything, I'm, I'm going to get off here and go hang with the boogers or something um but thank y'all for the ones who came on and um if you want to see I, i'll do any videos on telling stories or any of my interviews or things like this it's all on youtube just type in my name um and please subscribe and like to it i appreciate it if you want to hear my demos all this is on YouTube, but if you want to hear my demos on ReverbNation.com, type in my name. Um, and I appreciate it, and I love y'all. And the few that came in, thank you very much. I appreciate it. And uh, we'll try again. Uh, I'll try again in a couple of days when we get some more people. So, um, But, you know, like I always say, I love you all. And thank you all for your support for everything. I love my family. Um, take care of each other, love one another, and know that tomorrow is going to be a better day in dreams come true. I love y'all. Bye.